Today I will show you how to create this interesting photo manipulation. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today we will have a lot of fun creating this interesting photo manipulation with a snail carrying a big wooden house on his back, actually on his existing snail house. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Alright guys, let me first show you what photos we will use to create this interesting photo manipulation. First and most obvious, it's this snail here. Then you will have this house that we will put on his back. Then this rope. Then we will have portion of this photo only. This portion, or you can use whole photo, you will see later. And I will use this cherry blossom just to make the photo a little bit more interesting. So let's start with the snail. First thing that we need to do is to extract the snail out of the background. You can use quick selection tool, right? And just quickly select the snail like so. And if you don't like what for Photoshop thing you need to select, just press and hold Alt or Option key and just reselect parts that you need, right? Like here. Alter option key and just minus these parts, right? And maybe you need to make this brush a little bit more small, like so, right? To select this and to deselect this, all right? And we don't need this and so on and so on. And you need to be a little bit more careful to spend just a little bit more time, but this is pretty good. And when you're finished with that, just press here on the mask icon to get something that I already did and you will have something like this. Right, and now you will have the snail extracted out of the background with a mask. So the next step is to make this document a little bit bigger. So I will use a crop tool, see on a keyboard or just go here with the crop tool and just make this higher, right? Press OK. And now we have a bigger document with the snail here. OK, so now let's go to the house here. I will copy the house and paste it back to this snail PSD file, all right? And next step is to make the house appears like it's on the snail's uh, original house, all right? And how to do that? It's really easy. We just need to erase some things here from the house to uh, make impression that the house is behind the snail's antennas here and the eyes. All right, and let's rename first this. This is snail, right? This is house, double click to rename, right? And first I want to position the house where it should be something like, like this maybe. And maybe I will rotate it a little bit more. You can rotate it or leave it like so. You can maybe rotate it even more if you want to make it like so, but it's, your own preference, I will just maybe rotate it a touch and position it something like so. And then while I'm still in this uh, free transform tool, you can enter the free transform tool, not full, free transform full, all right, let's fool around. Free, tr free transform tool, enter by clicking control or command T on a Mac, all right. And then right click it, all right, and you have another options here and I will choose this warp option because I want to reshape this uh, house to have a little bit more cartoonish look. I don't know, a little bit more silly look. So let's do that. You don't need to do it if you don't want, of course. This project, it's all up to you how you will uh, finish it and how you will make it. The point of this photo manipulation, it's uh, you to learn how to combine uh, different images together and make like a one real nice composite image. All right, now I will go here and just Put, pull this a little bit inside and this part too, just to make the down part of the house a little bit more narrow, right? Like so. And I will pull this out, this part, right? Maybe up a little bit. Why not? To have like really nice and big, big house, all right? Let me see. This part is good can manipulate this too. And of course, guys, it's completely up to you how you will, you will do this. So I think this is really nice. Let's maybe make this a little bit 
wider. Why not? And press OK when you're done. And let me see before and after. Before and after. I really like this, this look. If you're not satisfied uh, with the first time, you can just undo it and do it again. I will go again in Free Transform tool by clicking Control Command T and just rotate it a touch. Something like, like this. Right, and position it somewhere. Somewhere here, I think it's good. All right, maybe I'll make it even higher, something like so. And just to have a little bit more, uh, to have a little bit more uh, better look uh, on the snail and on the house, I'll put a new background here, all the way down below everything. Use a solid color layer and just choose maybe something like grayish color, just to have a background. It's for me. It's a little bit distracting those uh, squares here, right? This checkboard. And now we can have fun with the uh, rest of of this process. So next thing, what I like to do is to erase the part of the house where this antenna is. So to do that, I will put a mask on a house, right? And just click by holding Control or Command key on a Mac. Just click here on the snail snail's mask. And now I will load the snail's mask here and just use a black brush. I will use harder brush like so and 100% opacity and just paint on a mask. Don't paint on a layer, right? With the black paint on a mask. And that's great. And the next thing what I like to do is to erase part of this uh, base of the house because now it's like house it's over the the original snail house so I will make appears like it's on the top so how to do that first and most obvious I want to delete this house leg all right and then I will go here go a little bit more in the selection and just press and hold shift and go all the way to here and the same from another side something like so and just go here and now I will zoom it and What's wrong with this? I have too soft edge here. It's too soft and I don't want so soft edge. So I will do to undo a few times and I will use harder brush, maybe around 90 or so percent. And again, here, press and hold shift and go all the way to here and then just, just delete this, right? And again, here, press and hold shift and go all the way to here. And now it's much better. Now I, I can deselect it by pressing Control Command D and just go manually fix this part here, right? Or you can use maybe a pen tool to do the same, the same process, all right? You don't need to do like this. There is always a lot of different ways how you can make a selection. It's of course up to you what you will use, but this is how I'm doing right now. Sometimes I, I'm changing the methods to make it more easier for me to uh, finish the process. And I think this is really, really nice. So I want this and this to be in same same height here. So like this and then maybe like so. Why not? Let me see. Yes, that's that's much, much better. So let's go here. And go all the way to here and yes I think it's much better so I like to pay a little bit more attention to those details and let's unzoom it and see yes now we have really nice impression that the house it's stick up on the snail ho snails house all right and that's it for a start the next step is to use a rope to uh, make the house more stable on the snail's back. So to do that, let's go to the ropes uh, photo. And again, you can use quick selection tool, make the brush a little bit more bigger and just like this, slowly dragging, you can select entire rope and then press the mask here and you will get this, right? I already extracted. If you don't know how to extract this, just this part, it's really easy when you create a mask like this, right? Create a mask, just right click and say apply mask. And now you have just this, right? 
and I already have it, so I will copy it and paste it back right here. Now it, the rope is obviously too big and we want to make a rope smaller, so I will press Ctrl Command T and just rotate it like so and make it smaller by holding a shift key because I want to constrain the proportions and let me see something like something like so this is really nice and thick rope I think this is good I don't want too thin I want thickness of the rope maybe just just like this but we have a problem the rope it's not uh, wide enough we can fix that really easily but uh, how to do that? There is a few different options how you can do that. I will show you just one of them and that's to duplicate this part of the rope and to paste it to paste it like so to duplicate it just use Control command J and just you can paste it here right and like so and just nudge it to find really nice spot where those two ropes interlaps like so and now you have with those two layers one bigger rope so let me see i will make a mask on both of those ropes all right first on the bottom one then on the top one and go to the top one and just i like to hide the house to see what i'm doing just use a brush black brush and i want to use softer brush like so and just paint out this and this and then I want to use really soft brush, 0% hardness, and just paint out this, right? Like so. Just to blend this rope a little bit more better with the rope down below. And let me see here, that's really, really nice. So I will now select both of these layers, right? And press Ctrl or Command E on a keyboard to merge them down and I will name this rope. And that's really, really easy. So I will duplicate this rope twice just to have two copies of them, reveal the house and then just hide all the ropes and create a new helper layer just to show you how I want to position the rope. So I will use a brush and white color and let me show you what I want to do with those ropes. I want to position first one something, let's make the hardness bigger something like maybe this like so it will go here then it will go down below somewhere here then it will go here and inside and the second one will go somewhere here then it will go something like so and here inside it will be something like this and then I will make another one smaller it will go behind the house we will see it through the window and just down below and here. And then we will have impression that we have a rope all around the house. So let's make this less visible, just to have it here as a reference. And let's use this rope. This will be uh, right, right rope. Okay, and let's have fun with that. I will use Control command t to enter the transform tool and I will position this part somewhere here. Then we need to bend this part here and this part here and this is okay. Press enter when you're done. And now let's go and use Puppet Warp tool. If you don't know how to use a Puppet Warp tool, you have my tutorial about Puppet Warp tool right here. Check it out and come back and do this or just you can watch what I'm doing, I will not explain you all the details because this story is already a little bit longer. So I will, uh, first thing what I like to do when I'm using Puppet Warp, it's to expand the selection. If I show you the selection here, if I shrink it, we will have mass out of the rope. Let me show you. And if I expand it, I will have more safe selection. So I always like to expand selection just for a few pixels. And now let's put some pins. First pin will be right here. And the second will be right here because those will be a breaking points, bending points actually, where we will bend the rope. And I will put few points along the rope here and then go to the first bending points. Press and hold Alt key and just, or Option on a Mac, and just rotate this part. And for now, that's great. Now let's go to the bottom bending point and just rotate 
this one too, right? We will fix this in a second and just go here and bend this one to a little bit like this, right? And now we need to add some more pins to make the rope straight, right? Let's add this one here and put it like so. Maybe here you can use uh, keyboard arrows to nudge these points to make a rope more straight, a little bit more precise, all right? And let me see if I put one pin right here. I will have a better impression of this bending, all right? That's great. And I think it's not bad if we are not satisfied with that after we press enter, we can always go back and put some new points and then redo this. I can, I'm not sure if this is so straight because of this helper line that in this case, it's not helping too much at all. All right, something like this and maybe go down with this one. And yeah, I need one here and another one here. And let me see, I need to bend this part too. So we can do it by putting just the pin this. I don't want to move those parts too much. So I will just bend this a little bit like so. And that's okay. We will delete, delete this and let's just fix this. All right, this part, it's not so interesting i know but you need to do this to, to have final result really really nice so when you are satisfied just press ok here and you will have the rope around the uh, left or, or actually the right high uh, right part of the house so let's hide this helper layer and let me see this is the right rope i will put the layer mask on it and i will just delete parts of the layer with the hard brush that I don't like it so i will use a black brush 100 percent opacity and just go here and delete and now we need to delete only the parts that are actually don't need it here i will delete this because i want to make the impression that the rope is going all across the rooftop and straight down and here i want to put the rope inside the snail house so i will delete this like so and let me see it will go just inside here and maybe just to make this better like this like this like this and to erase this and i think it's okay we will uh, we will definitely uh darken this part of the rope later and that's the first rope now let's do the same exactly the same thing with the second rope i will fast forward this because you don't need to watch me doing the same thing twice it's a little bit boring so i will just fast forward and see you in a few seconds Alright guys, and I'm finished with all those points and making the rope in the right position. I will press OK here and hide the helper layer here. And let's see, now we will do the same thing. Create a layer mask here and just erase parts of the rope that we don't need. Right, and I will erase this part here and this part right here, like so and then this part here, okay? And now we have impression that it's going around the house and here I want to erase this completely because I don't need it and this and this and now let me see. We have the impression that this rope is going somewhere. Yes, we have the impression that it's going down below but I will reveal just this part here and because this will be black, almost black, really dark later, it will do the great job. So let's hide this a little bit, paint back 
some parts and let me see let's unzoom it and that's really really nice so what we need to do next is to put another rope a little bit uh, thinner to the other side of the house just to have that balance for from uh, both sides of the house so i will use the original rope that uh, i made first and just press ctrl command t make it smaller because i want to be a thinner because it's farther away from the camera like so and press ok and i will do exactly the same thing so i will put the rope right here something like so i will use Again, add it, pop it warp, expand it a little bit, and then put a few points, one here, one here, one here, one here, and straighten this part of the rope, like so. And then I will move this part here because this will not be visible, and move this part right here. So only visible part will be this, and this where the window is. So let's straighten up this window part a little bit put it like so and i think it's okay so press enter or check the box check box down uh, here where it was and now i will create a new layer and i will just load this house as a selection control or command click on the house so i can delete everything much easier with the black like brush right something like this then something like this and then we can erase everything deselect deselect like so and right and go here and erase this part and what we can do is to select the snail's mask to have a little bit more easier way to uh, erase till the edge of the snail house so let's select that mask and just erase everything here and that's perfect now we have perfect perfect uh, part of the rope that it's wrapped around the house actually it's not perfect is if you can see this part it's not matching the line where the this vertical rope is going down so i will fix that really quickly go to the rope here add it pop it for and just move this part i don't want to move that part just this part something like this and maybe a little bit more around and now again load this uh, house as a selection and on the mask sorry just delete and the snail as a selection and just delete and let me see yes now it's much 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 better and i really really like it and that's great Alright guys, now we will just fix another small thing with the rope and then we will add a background, add some shadows, dodge and burn it and finalize the image. So let's do it. Right, what I need to fix here with the rope is just this part here because it's overlapping with this hanging board. So if I hide it, you can see it's overlapping. How to do that? It's really easy. We just need to paint on this mask of this right rope to hide the part of the rope that it's overlapping so i will just first hide the rope and i will use a pen tool if you don't know how to use a pen tool you have a great tutorial about pen tool right about here and you can learn how to use a pen tool right i will just make a path here like so and i will do something like this just here where the overlapping happens right here and then make this i'll make it straight and here and i don't think it's going yeah it's going just here like so let me see if it's not overlapping with that it's just overlapping with this part of this metal part okay and it's going to here and then to here let me see yeah it's going all the way here and like so and make this part of the selection and finalize it and now when we are done with that just to move this point a little bit now i'll press ctrl or command with the enter to load the selection out of that so let's uh, bring back our rope go to the mask use a brush black color and just paint here inside this selection and as you can see now we have really nice impression that the rope is actually behind this hanging board and that's what i wanted to achieve that's really great so 
now we can we can group here all of these things this helper layer we can delete let's group this is rope behind just to know what it is and group this name it rope ropes actually all right this is house this is nail this is background color that we will not need anymore and now let's go and just bring back this photo copy and paste it here that's great and i will put it here like so then i will select the snail and the ropes by holding a shift to select all layers press ctrl command t and make this everything a little bit smaller like so let me see maybe even smaller let's zoom just to see the snail and the branch here that's pretty much good all right i like it like so press enter and that's it you can leave this kind of composition that the bird is uh, like uh, frightened or like she i don't know what what uh, it's on uh, bird's mind but i will not do that i will just go to this background layer i will name it background all right and i will press ctrl command t right click and flip horizontal so i will use just a portion of that and it's this part of of uh, image right press enter and then i will crop everything according to the background here something like so it's nice and that's it i will use just this portion so now i will go to the snail and house and rope select everything and move it move it somewhere here i think i will position the snail like this great and let me see that's really really nice i already love this so press enter when you're done or don't need to press enter we are we, are, we were not in a free transform tool or how i like to say free transform full all right and now we need to make shadows here so first what i like to do is to paint a shadow from the rope on the house all right and for that i will go to the ropes i will create another layer beneath all three layers from the rope group so how to create a layer down below another layer it's easy just press and hold control or command key and on a new layer icon and that's it and i will name this shadow shadows actually and i will go zoom it here use a black brush i like to use soft brush here because there is no so harsh light here it's a little bit more softer right it's not so harsh but we will copy something like so i will use 10 percent opacity and i will use black color smaller brush like so and now i will just build the shadow from this side and just just paint like this right just build shadow from the rope don't worry if you go over here because we will delete it really really soon so let's go here again just paint like this of course you can spend even more time and create better shadow that will follow those uh, parts uh, where the rope it's um, a cur curvature of the rope if i can say like that so let me see that's not bad and i will now make a bigger brush and just paint here and here once okay and then i will make another shadow here it will go something like this like so a little bit more on the house just a subtle shadow so here and it'll go somewhere here and then we will have this everything really dark so the shadow will not be actually so visible and let me see maybe just maybe small small contact shadow right here just a touch just a touch like so all right and from the other side and i'm a little bit now here in a rush because of the length of this tutorial but of course you can spend when you're doing your own photo here you can spend a lot more time uh, tweaking this and make it better let me just erase that i don't like and for now it's okay so i will now create 
a selection out of this house by pressing the control command key and click on the house and I will use eraser tool, press E on a keyboard and just erase 100% opacity, all right? Yeah, I don't need to erase uh, this inside the selection. I need to invert the selection with shift control I like so and I will just erase those parts of the shadow that are not on the house. Okay, that's really nice. So let me show you be before and after before and after really really nice so the next thing is to add shadow on the house so i will use maybe curves make the house uh, or everything in this case i will clip this layer just to, to affect the house i will make the house darker like so and invert the mask with control command i so now we will just apply shadow where we want. I want to make darker, oops, too much, 10% opacity, just this part of the house, this part of the house, and I want to make the bottom part of the house a lot darker, right? Especially this bottom part. And as you can see here, I messed this up so I can just go to the mask, use white brush, 100% opacity, and just black brush, sorry, and just paint back this part of the house that's great so let's go back to the curves 10% opacity and yeah that's great and just paint this bottom part maybe this part with the white brush that's great and let me see just even more to dark this part even more and for now, it's okay, we can always go back and tweak some things. The next step is to make the snail, uh, snail's house a little bit darker. So let's go here to the snail. I will use for this maybe exposure, why not? Uh, I will use exposure, make the exposure like this, right? And again, invert the mask and just paint with a brush. In this case, I will use maybe 40% opacity and just paint here. This will be really dark. And I will leave just a small portion here a little bit brighter because the light will hit actually here just a little bit, right? And maybe I can make this even darker. Let me see, something, something like so, right? And let me see, and let's, we'll, like this 10% and just yeah I really like this I really like this so let me see maybe this part of the snail a little bit darker and and I will I will make some parts of the snail darker and some parts lighter but for that I will use curves I will use curves for like dodging right and invert it and I will use another curve for burning if you want to uh, know more about dodging and burning again you have my tutorial about dodge and burn right here so check it out all right and i will just i will just uh, clip it to the snail layer to clip the layer to the layer down below just press alter option key and just click between those two layers you will have the clipping icon or just press here to clip it or unclip it right this is dodge d for dodge this is before burn. So I will dodge first some parts of the snail, for example, here with a white brush and 10% opacity, just this front part of the antennas, right? Just building this a little bit part by part. And this part here too, I'm using 10% opacity brush Sometimes I'm using like 5% opacity brush to build this even slower, like so. And especially the front part I want to dodge. And I want to burn now the back part of the antennas because the light will go from the front side of the house and of the snails. So this will be a little bit more in the shadows. You can see here I didn't uh, made some good selection here so I will go to the, go to the snail a mask and I will use 100% opacity brush with the black color and just fix this part of the selection and that's it right go back to the 
burn 10% opacity brush and just just burn it like so right just build build your light this is artificial light painting right just build around the snail and this part will be a little bit darker and this part and this part just a little bit right and i think it's okay let me see before and after yeah it's much better before and after and let's go for the house here and make another curve that will dodge some part of the house just a touch invert it clip it here i hope that you guys are following me and i will just make this part of the house sorry i messed up something like so just a little bit more brighter this part of the house all right and that's that's it the top part a little bit brighter and let me see i like to unzoom it to see the result and zoom it back it's not bad now what we need to fix is the shadows on the rope so i will go here to the ropes and we can do this on a few different ways we can go create maybe curves or actually i like to use exposure for this exposure clip it on the ropes group and bring down the exposure of the ropes like like so right and then I will invert it and go here. I will use both exposure and the curves. Go here and just make this part, this part a lot darker, right? Build it with 10% or 15, 5% opacity. It depends of your way how you, uh, how you like to work. But I always suggest you guys to build uh, this a little bit slower than just go and use 100% best in paint all right like so and now i will use the curves why i'm using first exposure than the curves if you're asking that i will explain you really quickly because uh, exposure will darker uh, darken everything like you just saw but if i use just the curves the bright part will stay bright see it's uh, not so great result it's not what i'm looking for so the curves for me it's better solution you can see with uh, sorry not curves exposure it's much better if i want to bring everything down and now i will use the curves to make some shadows like so so again Control command i to invert it and just paint here let me see just make this part a little bit darker and that's basically it this will be bright and i can zoom it and yes that's pretty much good what i don't like i think this is too bright on this side uh, too dark sorry and let me see i want to darken this part even more so i will go to the exposure and bring it down like so go to the mask of the exposure and just bring this part a little bit more down like so and if i unzoom it yeah it's pretty pretty good for now right I will spend a little bit more time tweaking this, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will leave it like so. It's up to you guys to tweak uh, shadow here to make it even better. So uh, let's fix this part of the rope just a little bit. This is the rope behind. And what I like to do here, I will use curves, clip it on this, make it a little bit darker. And I will bring the blacks a little bit up just to fade it a little bit. And then I will go to blue. I will add a little bit of the blue color and a little bit of the cyan or yeah a little bit of the cyan maybe not the blue maybe i will add some yellow let me see yeah i like the yellow more so that we have impression that this part is actually uh, seeing through the window right and let's go here and 
I don't want this to be affected, so I will erase the effect here. And what I like to do is to erase this part of the rope where the window is overlapping. So let's go back to our house. Here, if I select the house, you can see, you can see this. I want to bring back the mask here and here, right? And then deselect it and now we have better impression that this is actually behind the window i really really like it right the next step is to add a shadow here behind the snail we need the snail and on the branch so i will first go to the background i will use the quick selection tool all right and i will just select this part of the background where the branch is i don't need this part so badly but i will select it i need this part this part because i want to make a selection only where the shadow will go shadow will not go on the background so i will create a new layer here curse the mask will automatically apply it on the curse and i will make this darker like so and invert the select oops i cannot invert the selection i can create another trick i can go and create a group put this into the group and create a black mask by holding outer option key on the group and paint on this selection right and i will just use a black brush uh, sorry white brush 10 percent opacity and i will just paint a shadow or 40 percent opacity here paint the shadow right here from the house but not so much like so maybe let me see this is nice and what i like to do go to the snail this is snail create a layer below the snail by holding control command key this is shadow from the snail and i will just use a black color and just paint a shadow here this is shadow from the snail adjust small contact shadow right here all right like oops too much and maybe even smaller 10 percent opacity and just paint here this is just from a snail and then i will go to this mask that i have selection of the branch so i will create a uh, load it by control click it invert it shift control i and go to the snail shadow use eraser and just erase this part because i painted on the background so now we have really really nice selection here what i like to do is to maybe dodge uh, this part of the snail a little bit more so this is here i can just bring this part a little bit up or i can just go and paint a little bit more here so i will just increase the curve and just go here and use white brush and just paint a little bit more here to have a little bit more contrast on this all right like so and i really like it like so right and that's basically it guys all right the next step if you want it's optional everything here is optional the beauty of photo manipulation is that you can do whatever you want with your files uh, but please make it photorealistic so uh, the optional step is to add some cherry blossom on the background just to have a little bit more interesting background and in this case, I will finalize the image and that's it. So let's go back into Photoshop. All right, let's go and find our cherry blossom. It's here. So what I like to do with that, I want to remove the black background. So I will uh, duplicate it, this by Control Command J. I will hide the original background and I will go to select color range and just check here on the black and try to match the fuzziness like so maybe. All right and i will create a mask on it and i need to invert the mask by control or command i on a keyboard and that's it i have something that it's not so perfect selection as you can see here but it will do the job because we will blur this and put it as a background All right and i will use this let's press f on a keyboard twice just to have these steps and i will move it to a snail here right like so 
so let's go back to the full screen and i will move this all the way down above the background and it's right here right and it's really really nice so what i like to do is to maybe rotate it position it like so press ok duplicate it yeah we can we can remove the background all right right click and apply the mask and now we will remove the mask but we have some leftovers here you can use eraser or whatever you want just to erase that because we don't want that so i will duplicate this move it down below you will have another one i will rotate it like so and just put it somewhere here like like this just to have to have something more details here you don't need to do that if you don't like but i will do it all right and now i will blur i will blur this okay let's let's see like this it's okay and i will go to the filter blur and gaussian blur but if you want to uh, change your mind about the amount of blur you want to apply you can do this kind of trick right click on this and convert to smart object and again for this another one convert to smart object and then this is cherry blossom i will just name it like so and this is number two all right and go filter blur gaussian blur and now you can apply any amount of blur you want you can blur it a lot because the background it's really really blurred but i want to be recognizable a little bit so maybe let's see 18 okay and i want to blur this one the same amount so i'll go just press this again and that's it maybe i want this one to be a less blurred maybe i changed my mind right now and i don't want to undo this i can now use smart filters double click on gaussian blur and just do something like this maybe less or maybe even more why not so you can always change your mind with this maybe 15 that's okay and you can always go back and forth with this and play around that's really really great all right guys now i will finalize this merge everything together into one layer and apply some color correction on that and that's it for today it was really really nice composite image so let's go back in photoshop and let's do it all right let's go to let's hide these groups this is snail this is that's pretty much okay and i will go to the top layer shift Control alt e or shift command option e on a mac to group this into one layer right and now we have everything into one new layer and i want to apply first nick collection color fx pro filter because i really like that and i will apply some pro contrast and some detail extractor to that so first let's use a pro contrast and use this dynamic contrast slider if you watch my tutorials, you know that I love this dynamic contrast because this preserves the details in highlights and the shadows. It's not like a regular contrast where the highlights will be blown out and shadows will be a lot darker. So this is great. And I will just use a small amount of it and I will add another filter, right? And I will use detail extractor. That's great. You can see already something, but I don't want to push it so far. You can really create crazy things. And I want to add let me see a little bit more contrast and maybe something like so and if we, if we click here to compare we can see before and after before and after really really subtle change that's what i'm looking for and wait a few moments for uh, this effect to be applied on the image and then we will create a mask i will create a black mask by holding alter option key right black mask and just paint with a white brush I will use 100% opacity brush or you can use maybe 50% opacity brush and paste a paint twice that's not bad too right and just paint here and on the snail on the antennas here what we can do as a trick we can go here to the snail select the snail and just paint paint on the snail because i don't want to paint on the background and that's great and that's really really nice so i will paint just part of the branch here like this and let me show you before and after before and after we can go and paint even more here on the house of course let me see yeah that's great before and after really small but really nice 
effect. And then I will merge again everything together with Shift Control uh, Alt E or Shift Command Option E on the Mac. So I will go to the filter and camera row filter. If you watch my tutorial about the shortcuts, you know that I am allowed to use shortcut for everything and the shortcut for camera row filter it's Shift Control A or Shift Command A and it's really fast shortcut. So I will go here and apply some contrast like so. Then open shadows a little bit and close the blacks just like so. Maybe just touch of clarity and I will saturate this a little bit more. Actually add vibrance and then I will go to split toning effect. I love to add some yellows to the highlights like so and I will not uh, touch the shadows. So I will use another thing. I will go to graduated filter here and I will put another gradu one graduated filter here like so and let's zero this out just to see what I would like to do. Now nothing is applied so I would like to make this part, part brighter so I will bring up the exposure. I want to dehaze it actually to haze it to make more uh, washed out right like so and maybe to lower the clarity just a touch and that's it for this part. So I will add another one right here but in this time I want to lower the exposure just a touch to make this part just a touch brighter right and I don't want this or this so let me see if I dehaze it. No I don't want that I want like this. Let's go to the hand icon back to this maybe add a little bit of the vignetting, feather it and we can go here to the HSL L, uh, hue saturation luminance and maybe change some colors. Maybe we want uh, green to be more yellowish, maybe we want this kind of effect and yellow to be more orange, maybe you want something like this. I don't know, it's your choice or maybe you want green to be more like pronounced, like this is some cartoonish look, you know, or maybe you want to change the uh, yellows to more green. I will change the yellows just a little bit towards the orange and I will just leave it like so for now. Saturation, you can see you can boost the saturation of the yellows like so, why not? And luminance, we can boost luminance of the yellows and bring down the luminance of the green just a touch. And let's go back here and let me see you can play with this, right? It's optional preference. You can create your own style. And let's go here and I will press. Yeah, I want to, to sharpen it just global sharpening a little bit. Like so. And press OK. And you will see before and after, before and after. Really nice result. Right guys, that's basically it for today. We finished with our composite image and one more thing that you can add here is to sharpen just some parts of the image. So you can do that or leave it like so. Let me just show you how you can sharpen just part of the image and let's finish with this. Right, let's duplicate the uh, last layer, Control command j and let's go to the filter, other and high pass. And let me see, I will just go here to the snail and lower the radius maybe 0.4. Okay, press OK and put this into one of those three blending modes, overlay, soft light or linear light. Linear light will uh, give you the uh, strongest effect, right? You can see overlay, it's a little bit softer and linear, uh, soft light, it's even softer. So in this case, I will put it in linear light because I like it. I will put the mask on it and now I will sharpen with 50% opacity. I will just reveal some parts that I really want to be sharp like this and basically maybe this part of the branch I want to be a, maybe this part and front of the house here like so and that's that's it I will finish with that so before and after you cannot see uh, unzoom but here before and after before and after it's really really nice right guys yeah the end is here. We are finally done with this tutorial. I know it was a longer one, but I hope that you like it and that you learn some new stuff, some new tips and tricks out of this one. So practice, experiment, have fun, create your version of this photo manipulation, change something. Maybe you want to change the 
house shape, maybe you want to change the snail shape, why not? Maybe you want to add some different elements to the photo to put the snail in the house, why not? To put the snail and the house on some different environment, to add some different background and so on and so on. Anything your heart desires. So if you create an interesting version of this composite image, put it on Instagram and tag me so I can check your progression. I really love to see your version of it. If you like to support this channel and this project to make it even bigger and better, please check my Patreon page, the link is down there in the description. For my Patreon friends, you will get this PSD file, the link is in the description or on the Patreon page. So have fun, experiment and see you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye.